So let's do this. The NFC East, and we're going to start off with the favorites in the division. That would be the Dallas Cowboys. They went 8-8 eight and eight last year. Win total right now is set at 10, and the over and under are juiced the same. It is minus 110 on both sides. To win the division, minus 120. So they are a sizable favorite here. Coach Mike McCarthy jumping in for his first season. Uh, the offense was already ridiculous last year. Uh, and then they bring in CeeDee Lamb in the draft. I mean, they did, they were gifted. Just gifted him. I mean, good gracious. Uh, let's, let's dive through some of the numbers here. Um, offensive yards per play, 6.5. They were number one in the NFL last year in yards per play. Just unbelievable. Defensive yards per play. Gave up 5.2. That was number nine in the NFL. And this is where they ran into problems. Turnover margin. Mm. Gave up 0.1 turnovers per game. That was number 18 in the league. That was a problem. Um, and and they, just had, they just had issues. I mean, it, it, look, Jason Garrett, just not great, right? Defense brought in a lot of defensive line help. Don Terry Poe, Everson Griffin. Uh, and then they lost. Um, I didn't write his name down because I knew I was going to remember it. Now I forgot it. Wait, what's the guy that got hurt? Uh, Gerald McCoy. Right. Gerald McCoy. Yeah, he, yeah. he gets hurt. He's out. They waived him, whatever. But they, they brought in a bunch of older kind of veteran guys just to make sure that the defensive line is kind of shored up. I don't think they're going to be great on defensive line, but I think they'll be okay. They I don't just, think they shored it up at all. They just cut Haha ha Clinton Dix at safety that they brought in and signed yep. and paid, gave a guarantee of $2.25 million. He was owed like three point whatever million. Uh, he's going to – Cost like one point five million against the cap, I think something to like play, that to play zero games. So they cut him, but did they cut him so that they can go get Earl Thomas, or did they? I, I'm curious what they're trying to do here because you you don't cut the guy a week before the season starts unless you got some kind of a plan, right? Yeah. Um, it, my my question here: Can Mike McCarthy improve on what Jason Garrett did? And I think that's not even a question. I think Mike yes. McCarthy is an absolute adult in the room, as you like to say, as opposed yes. to Jason Garrett, who was just. A kind cheerleader. A, yeah, that's all he was. He was a cheerleader. He was just a cheerleader. And in the NFL, you cannot be just a cheerleader. You have to be able to solve problems when your coordinators cannot. I have got them going 11-5 and five this season. I like the Ooh. schedule. I like the team. I think Dak, in a, in a contract kind of year, a franchise tag kind of year, I think they are going to play really well. They got weapons everywhere, man. I mean, they're just – their offense, I think, is going to – at maybe improve on what they did last year. I mean, 6.5 yards oh, of play yeah, yeah. is unbelievable. So. Like, just ridiculous. So, I think they're going to be just fine. Um, like, I, I really like this team, especially in this division, because there ain't there ain't nothing in this division, man. All right. So, liking them in this division is totally different than liking them in their league, okay? Agreed. But I think the schedule this is, sets this up is well. a, Hang on. This is a Big 12 football team. This is what this is. And Oklahoma... And Texas can beat up on the on the weaklings of the Big Twelve a lot, but when they go to the SEC, when they go to the Big Ten, when they go to the ACC, they get their ass handed to them. I think that's going to happen a lot. I got this team. Realistically, I had them ten and six, but then I saw the number was ten, and I was like, mm, no, I'm going to give them nine and seven. This team is a nine and seven football team. That's okay. it. But it's not Mike McCarthy's fault. They have not spent any time or money really planning for the defense. All these guys on the defense are old, hadn't played in several years, all have problems, and and you just can't build it. Bill Belichick just took all his old guys and said, you all have COVID, go home. <laughs> all right? <laughs> Let me tell you the difference between how one team is being ran and how the other team is being ran, okay? They're going out and getting those old-ass guys, and they're going to try to say, hey, we're going to be in track races. We're going to score fast. We're going to score often. But that means you're on the field a lot. Oh, yeah, great. Let's put a bunch of geriatric dudes out there that haven't <laughs> taken snaps in a couple of years. That's exactly what you want. Yeah, I mean, I, I didn't bring up Alden Smith or any of that. I mean, uh, yeah, you're right. I don't think that's what you want. I think this football team is going to be crazy fun to watch, just like Big 12 football is crazy fun to watch. Bet, bet a lot of overs. I, yes, I think they're going to score a lot. I really do. But I think other teams are going to score on them too. But the difference is, is the NFL is just better at stopping you. And it's not one of those things where I have to hold you under 50. But if I know I can score 53, I just need to make one stop. Yeah. I, I just need to make one stop. And I win the game. I'm not saying teams are going to blow them out. Because when you can score the way I think they're going to be able to score, then then I think 
they're going to be fine. They got to figure out something with the turnovers. That's oh, a yes. problem. Oh, that's, that's absolutely because on this defense, if you give the other offense extra possessions, and you have a not good old defense, that's not going to work out real well. Agreed. It's just not. Let me uh, let me roll through some of the schedule right quick to open the season. They've got at the Rams, the Falcons, at the Seahawks, Browns, Giants, the Cardinals, at Washington, at Philly, Pittsburgh, at the Vikings, Washington, at Baltimore, at Cincy, the 49ers, Philly and the Giants. I, there's not a game on there that I don't think that they can find a way to win. That's why I've got them at 11 and 5. Now, there are obviously they're not going to go 16 and 0. That's just not how it is. And I am not a Cowboys fan in the slightest. Uh, for those that watch the show, you all know that I am a Steelers fan, but I do think that this Cowboys team can be pretty good. But you you've got them too. at 9 and 7, huh? Yeah, I, officially I got them at 9 and 7. Um I, I, they're probably a double digit win team, but they're going to be fun to watch. Oh yes, and offensively they're going to be good. But this is the NFL, man. You got to be good on both sides of the ball, or you get sent home. Matt on YouTube said at least Jerry Jones's uh, redheaded stepchild is gone now, and Damian oh. said I can see the Cowboys going eight and eight. I, look, that eight wouldn't eight, shock wouldn't, me. It wouldn't shock me either. I, I think the better it, net. But here's I the think thing: Mike could they lead the league in scoring and go eight and eight? Hang on, what was the Cardinals' record last year? And that's kind of how they played football, uh, right? Went five and eleven. Yeah, they went five and eleven. They scored a lot. And they didn't stop anybody. Yeah. No, I think, yeah. I, I mean, he right. literally took his Texas Tech ways to Arizona. Yeah. It, it just does. It's fun to watch until you can find a way to play defense with that kind of offense. Nobody's been able to do it. Okay. Yes. yes. 